I don't want to stream in portrait. Oh my gosh, it's so annoying. I hate that. I do not know why it's streaming in portrait. I'm sorry. I know that's really super annoying. But I have to post this video um, because someone just bought my deluxe werewolf costume that I had made as pre-made and posted on Etsy. So, let's get down to business. I want to show her all the features and all the things that I did to it and anything that she needs to know as far as adding things on. Um, so this guy took me literally a year to make because he's so complex. It was a personal, it was a personal project. He comes with a muscled upper bodysuit, which took forever because it was so hard to do and time consuming. Full digigrade feet, a nice wolf tail, and the head, and also this, the ginormous paws. Ginormous. Look at those. It's huge. So I want to go over the muscle bodysuit first. Each single muscle foam piece was carved by me and then lined. So this part, the gray part, had to be sewn directly to this lycra material. So each individual muscle is sewn. And then I had to sew each muscle to the other muscles. All of that is upholstery thread. Lots and lots and lots of sewing. And then once all the muscles were sewn together, and it, like this is all one sewed thing, I had to sew that to the fur. This is like a monster werewolf type fur. I absolutely love it. So he's got super buff arms. If you didn't see the video of the werewolf why I had him on, please go check that out. I'll probably put the link below because that's probably one of my best like realistic uh, work. He's got a back. Look at all those buff muscles in the back. He's got biceps and abs and all that stuff. And then this is all airbrushed with water resistant black and gray airbrush paint. He should be able to be washed in water delicate tumble in a washing machine. But like after a year he might start to fade eventually. I don't know. You could probably just surface clean him and wear under armor to prevent sweat from getting in it. So yeah, this guy took for freaking ever. I'm gonna go over the digigrade feet. These are the first ones I've ever made. Um, these are foam, a foam base inside. Now I told her cause she was she wanted to buy it and I only listed it for a thousand. So this whole thing that I've never worn was only a thousand dollars on Etsy. I've had them up there for a couple months and no one was buying. So she bought it and it's filled with polyfill just so I could take the picture. It's completely hollow on the inside and foam. It's all foam. And then, so she can put a shoe inside or make a slipper lining, whatever she wants to do. These are DVC granite raptor claws. Like, so cool, right, for a werewolf. They look awesome. Downside, they're $6 each and they're freaking heavy. Um, I just put these, I just made these outdoor paw pads because they, I hadn't done it when I took the picture. So I just did that now for her. This is like really durable rubber. It's almost like stuff you'd see on a tire. I don't know. I got it from a hardware store, <laughs> but it works really well for outdoor use. And then EVA foam below that, EVA foam below that because the base of the foot is EVA foam. So yeah, these turned out really nice. She's going to have to mod those for her specifically, but they turned out really cool. Really cool digigrade feet. All right, let's move on to the hand paws. These bad boys are freaking heavy. They're like 10, 10 pounds <laughs> per hand. In hindsight, I probably should have just made the whole hand like out of foam. Because the problem is, although they look really cool, my hands are small. And I feel like a guy would be able to wear these better. I'm just going to put it on so you can see how heavy it is. These nails have a hollow part. So you can technically stick your fingers in them and move them around. But there's no internal glove or internal lining yet. And she knows that she's going to do one for herself. Um, you could maybe add foam to make the fingers less huge. They're just too big for me. But I'm sure they'd be great for like 
anybody else. So, no pop out of here because I wanted the fur to be long. These are DVC silicone durable black wolf paw pads, four of them. They come waxed to like this felt material and I sewed the felt to the fur. So, cause I don't like when people glue paw pads down directly to the fur. It's gross, it doesn't last and I didn't like it. So they're heavy, they need a little bit of work and love. She'll hopefully do, do that. Basic wolf tail, three colors. Um, monster, monster fur on the top. You got two little belt loops. Mm -hmm. Gr two grays. Symmetrical pattern that I made. So two grays. One, two, and then the black fur. So just a basic tail. I did like that when I had it on, it stood out from my buttocks and made it look more like an active werewolf. I don't know. It just looked really cool. <coughs> Sorry. I don't have coronavirus. I'm just talking too much. Okay. And the bad boy himself. This nasty, nasty, snarly, grumpy boy. This is a DVC snarly werewolf or canine head base. It's a moving jaw, so it's got springs. Now, the thing is, I bought the head base. And then I modded it by adding their glow-in-the-dark resin eyes. And the jaw the whole the teeth and the jaw set what happens is they want you to make a jaw and teeth inside the snout and inside the mouth but instead i sculpted each tooth out of sculpty tinted it yellow because i felt like a werewolf's teeth are not going to be super clean they're going to be a little bit grungy right and he's got a tongue in there this is epoxy sculpt the gums this is all overlaid on top of the base. So this this lip lining is all custom made. Each tooth had to be interlaid within this. It took a lot of time. Each individual tooth with, was um, sanded and then painted. And then the epoxy sculpt is like an activated type of sculpty where you mix two and then it turns black and then it dries in like 30 minutes. Sculpty you bake in the oven. The nose, I just, I just, I literally just painted this another coat. I painted, repainted the whole mouth with another coat of paint. <laughs> and then I just scraped the nose. So that sucks. You're going to probably want to just do a little bit of extra epoxy. Like put a nice sheen over everything if you like how it looks. And the nose all fixed before I send them to you. And then that will look nice and shiny and durable. The paint won't scrap, scrape off. So yeah, that's his jaw. And I'm gonna show you his ears. Those are custom made out of foam and airbrushed. Two very long ears. On the inside, which is really cool, I'm gonna show you. He opens up completely. So you can like go in there, wipe things down, or do a lining, whatever you want. The back of the head has an adjustable strap. And then on the inside, you see these holes, these tear duct holes. Usually there's a black screen that goes there. I didn't do that yet. So you, you'll probably have to do that. And then I just put Velcro on the inside of the snout. I wrapped all the wires in an electrical tape to make sure they didn't break. You turn the eyes on. Put it back on the Velcro. And there he goes. Look, he's giving you a nice little look. Little bedroom eye look. That's nice. Yeah, I would not want to see that glowing in the middle of the woods while I was taking a hike. I would not. Ooh, open, open. Okay, so we take it back out and then you shut it off, basically. That's that's about it, guys. This is the whole, the whole fursuit is gonna be sent to the lovely lady on Etsy who bought him and she's gonna make him wonderfully full and I'm gonna see pictures probably. And I'm happy that he's going to a good home and I'm I'm getting some much needed money money because I've been furloughed. Yay, COVID. So thanks guys for watching. Um, I hope you guys get to see a lot more of my work. I know I have a crap ton of like <laughs> commission lists right now. So I'm working on that. Um let me see if I can rotate the camera. Oh, oh my god. My hair. Oh my god. 
hi. I have an earplug. That's nice. Because I don't leave the house, and it's been in the, my ear from the beginning of the morning. That's nice. I, I've been in the house way too long. So thank you for watching. Have a great night. How do I, how do I stop the video? Mm, yes.